Hello, 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 and welcome back to The Wandering Village. I'm Evie Greenbottle, and we've got a few things that we're dealing with here. We've got our Elifleas, which are actually making it easier to deal with the poison that's on Anbu's back, so that's good. We did lose a bunch of our villagers last time, though, so our total people is down. Down to just 20. We had, I think, 26, then one died, and then five left. So it's not been great. We've, we've run into a few problems now, but I think we're doing kind of okay. Scavenging party has brought back some stone uh, and we sent them back out over here to the ruined settlement. So hopefully we can find some more villagers. Got a sleeping spot for Anbu, so we just need to make sure he stays awake long enough to actually get to the comfortable spot. He's not hungry at all. He's not poisoned. He's actually looking pretty good. Of course, when he wakes up, he's going to be more hungry. Our main problem now is villager happiness. We've got poisoned villagers, which is fine. I think we've got doctors working. But hungry villagers and food is a little bit of a problem. There are beets around. Do we have any spare workers? We've got one spare worker. But if we want to get things built, we sort of need him to be building. That like we just need that. It's just we're really low on people. Now things that we're building, we're working on the tree nursery over here and the forester, and those are going to be fairly important. Oh no! I knew this was going to happen. The elephant eggs are here. All right, Anbu is looking uh, like he's going to sleep here. He's yawning, but this place is unaffected by poison. This is the perfect place for him to sleep. We're hoping we find some villagers in that ruined settlement. Then we're going to go to this next ruined settlement, hope to find more villagers because we just can't do the things we want to do because we don't have the people to do it. Our town square is built, but it requires three people to actually benefit from that. Happiness. Oh, it's gone up a little bit. OK, I mean, the poison should stop here. This place is clear of poison. So that means no one should be getting further poison here. So hopefully we can deal with those two poison people and get rid of that minus one. And then only one hungry person means that's a zero, so that's not affecting us. Decorations seem like something that we're going to need, but the problem is with decorations, they cost wood for everything. Now currently, the wood's not looking too bad, neither is stone. 41, we've got seven planks, 67 stone, but zero of the stone slabs. But those workers are working, they are continuing on. We need more planks for the... Oh no. What's happened now? Why are you so unhappy? The poison people still minus one and the hunger is minus one. Oh, come on. Okay, we just need them to go get food. The doctor should be working. Moving to the, no, you're the researcher. What is the doctor doing? Are you the doctor? Yeah, you're the village doctor. So what are you doing? Go forth and help people. I mean, who are the poison people, I wonder? Where are you guys? Oh no, there's another, there's four eggs now. The elephants are gonna get really out of control really quickly. I'm not sure who's poisoned, what's causing the problem. I mean, the doctor, if there's poison people, he should be going to go help them. Unless, oh, it's our scavengers who are poisoned. Oh, that's very bad. I mean, yeah, that is very, very bad. Okay, so the two poison people are the scavengers. Have they gone poisoned while out? Or were they poisoned when I sent them off? Well, speed time on, because I need them to get back. Then we need to get them healed. Hopefully they don't die while they're out there. Is it badly poisoned or just poisoned? It's poisoned. So that's okay. I guess if it's badly poisoned, then we need to worry more, maybe? Possibly. I mean, this has gone back up to three, so at least there's that. The food quality is okay. People seem to be eating. Hey, okay, scavenger party back, back 20 bread only. So we need the doctor to go and heal them. That's going to be priority number one. He's heading over there now. People are going to get the bread. And that bread is actually going to help a lot because it's going to help us with our food variety and food quality. Anbu has woken up and he's hungry and he's gone to the washer, which means we should have our very first collection of dung coming in. About 20 in there now. Are you guys? They, they're both healed. So everyone's fully healed. We can send them back out. We're going to send them to this ruined settlement over here. We are hoping for people. That is all we really wanted. But now we're seven out of three. So that's actually fixed the happiness problem we were having. Anbu's continuing on. I don't see anything in the immediate future. So we'll just let him walk while we figure out what we're going to do down here. There are tons of mushrooms around. So getting mushrooms to start making some more food balls would be good. We've got two at the moment though, so it's not like high priority. We could even take someone out of here and just have them start making things with it because if we're not using them, they're just sitting there. At least in this version of the game, they don't rot, so they're not going to be going bad just sitting there. I am a bit confused, concerned about these elderly eggs. We're currently working on wheat as our research, but we should have pest control as the next one. So as soon as wheat is done, it's going to be moving over to pest control. We do have maximum number of workers in there. The second sawmill's been built, so we are ready to, once this one's done, it's got 60 wood left, we'll move them right over there. So at least, I mean, I think it's going okay. We need our doctor still, because 
people can be getting poisoned again because we're now out of the clear patch. It's a bit of rain. Oh yeah, we did also close off one of these, which means we're getting less water in, but I think water wise, yeah, we still have 74. Still have plenty of water. If anything though, I really need more people in the farms. I might close this off. This water well, actually let's close that water well off because there's nowhere else to store it. I'm going to put that extra worker over here. Oh, the scavenging party brought back. Oh no, they brought back 20 bread again. Okay, there's a ruined settlement way out there. It's quite far away, but there's nothing else really around. So we'll send them to that. But we got more bread. It's really not what we wanted. Tree nursery has been constructed. Um, There's not too much happening here. I, the guy's gone immediately to work there, which maybe is fine. We did have some tree sap. Saplings? He's just gathering saplings. I don't know if we need him to work here. I mean, the efficiency is just going to be so low. I think close this off. We need that worker to really be doing other things. The elephants are all here. We're going to need to keep an eye on Anbu's heart rate. I do need to feed Anbu though, so let's get someone in there and just give him a quick food ball. We'll keep his food kind of low if possible. Weed harvesting is now done, which means we're going to be working on the thing we needed, which is pest control. And we've got a decision to make. Stay in the jungle, but go through a... Po uh, Stay in the jungle and we don't know what's happening over there or leave the jungle, go into the ocean, but we have to go through a poison forest. Oh man, I actually, I'm not sure what would be better. I don't think we're ready for the ocean. We don't have a fishery yet. I think we stay in the jungle. Anbu's accepting that as a command, so I guess that's good. We did just feed him, so he should be at least a little happy about that. The trader is here. Let's take a look and see what we can get. Now, last time we bought the tree saplings, I don't think we need to buy any more of those. And actually, not sure they have anything that we want. Food, they have some. Um, we could sell the salt again. We could try to get some knowledge because we're not going to be seeing as many shrines because we've got the reduced vision. So buying knowledge could end up being really, really valuable. I'm not sure how much we currently have. I would have bought wood or stone had they had any, uh, but they do not. We've got enough water for now, especially since we're staying in the jungle. We're going to need that sand at some point, so I can't really sell that. We've got some dung, but we haven't processed any of it yet. I mean, there's just... Tree saplings is not the worst idea, but we, we already have 10. So do we need to buy more? I don't know. And what would we what would we sell? I mean, this is going to be worth 180. Is that enough for... 180, it's not even enough for one knowledge. Um, So we'd have to sell other things as well. And I don't really know what it is that we would sell. So maybe this is not... I mean, we could sell more herbs, maybe? We have... Oh, we could make up the difference with herbs. Buy one knowledge, though. Is this worth it? You know what? I'm going to say it is. It's only 12 herbs, 18 salt, and we get one extra knowledge point. I don't know. That wasn't great. Hopefully, the trader comes back next time with something a bit better. We do need to worry about this pest control, but we are researching it now, at least. It's at 31% already. So another day and a half, and it'll be done. Feeding trebuchet is closed. We don't need that anymore. I mean... They're starting to get lots of berries in some of these areas, but not enough, to, I don't think, to put down like a berry harvester. There's a couple here, but still not really enough. People are coming over here, though. And oh, we've got a decision to make. Oh, yes, settlers. Let's pick them up, please. One hungry person has joined. OK, not a ton, but one extra person is one extra person. We can't turn our nose up on that one. These are still quite full, so I'm not going to open those up yet. I might open this up for a bit. Get the Anbu kitchen open that gives keeps us with one general worker. And I mean, there are some trees that could be definitely cut down. If they're not kind of in that area over there, then we could probably just get rid of them. We need to get rid of these elephants, though. That's what my concern is. I mean, it's keeping Anbu's poison down, so at least there's that. But otherwise, it's not great. Oh, it looks like we're heading into the desert. Now, my concern with the desert is we probably don't have enough water stored. Water storage, we currently have 72, um, but we're not actually storing water. We might want to... You know, you're fine. We have got the... We do have two farms, so we could have one as that's just doing cactus. It is possible. It could work. Oh, we could turn this off. I mean, I am kind of considering turning off the mycologist for now. There's mushrooms just everywhere. Like, there's 97 global resources for the mushrooms, so what if we even just temporarily turn this off? Let's get you working in here. We'll use up the mushrooms, maybe, and then we'll put him back over there. I mean, then we'll also be using less water temporarily. I think that's okay. Turn time back on. Occasionally, we're getting people um, poisoned, but for the most part, we're okay. There are nomads coming this way. We could get Anbu to wait for them, Anbu's poison levels won't really go up. So if we did ask Anbu to sleep there, we, his poison levels aren't going to go up because we've got the elephants. We can feed him. We have the food bowls. That wasn't a problem. And we do need the people. So it might be worth it if we can convince Anbu to sleep there. Now, of course, sleeping here would be better. Even anywhere in the desert would be better. But you know what? Actually, I think it's kind of worth it. The trader's going to leave soon. That's not a problem. 
We're gonna send our explorers off. They brought back 10 wood, but I'm gonna send them off to the oasis. When we get into this area, I'm gonna get Anbu to lie down. Our villagers' needs have increased to four. We just need more workers. I think it's going to be really, really important. So let's just wait until Anbu gets into that area. The trader has left, but that's not a problem. And as soon as Anbu, there he is in the area now, let's get him to sleep. Anbu, okay, lie down. I can't actually get him to sleep. I don't know if he'll stay here long enough then. We will try though. I mean, we could have got him to stand still. He's gonna get more poison on the ground, but the Elephleys need something to eat, I guess. So maybe it's fine. <laughs> Maybe it's fine. These things are going to continue to reproduce though. I mean, that one's at 79% already. And then it's going to lay another egg and we're going to have a fairly hard time, I think. We'll have to see. Oh man. Okay, is he going to lay here long enough? Honestly, I don't know. Okay, pest control has been researched. So I guess we have to get that built now. Landscaping. Oh, the decontaminator we also super need. We need both of these. Let's go for landscaping first. It's a bit quicker. Pest control. This doesn't really matter where it goes. It needs to be kind of near the Elephleys. I think we probably want to get rid of these elephants completely, keep those ones, which means we're going to be harvesting those eggs. I'm going to put this up here, I think. Yeah, I think that's okay. Uh, we're going to get rid of these ones completely because they're kind of in the farm area, which we don't necessarily want. And a seawater collector has been constructed, so let's close that off. We don't need anybody in there. That's kind of good. It would be good to get the spore distillery done. I'm not sure what's the next. Oh, I think this is next priority, actually. Can you guys focus on that? This is probably the next priority after that. So pest control first, then the forester, just because there are other buildings out here, but I don't think that they are as important. We've got one unemployed worker. So I guess he's just sort of wandering around doing whatever jobs there are to do, which there is actually quite a lot. He'll be the only one building these things, the only one bringing things over to it. We've got quite a lot of trees that could be cut down. Lombu is just waiting. Are they, is he willing to sleep here? Ombu wags his tail. Oh, he's standing up though. Gotta get him to stand still this time. He says Ombu accepts his command, our command, so let's just see. We still have a long way for them to come. As soon as he starts walking again, we might have to just ask him to lie down. He is getting pretty tired, so I mean, maybe he'd want to, but I don't know. Our scavenging party is just about back, but there is a forest over here. 48 water they brought, which is nice. We'll send them off there. This is so close, but will Ombu wait this long? He's like, da 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 da. I'm having a great time. He, he seems pretty happy, to be honest. <laughs> you want to lie down, Anbu? Our villagers are not happy, though. Uh, poisoned and hungry. Oh, the food thing is a problem. I mean, it seems to be coming back up again. They're so close to being here. Come on. How long will Anbu just stand here? I mean, it's pretty impressive that he is standing here even this long. I thought for sure he would be like, nope, I'm walking. Stop making me stand. I don't want to stand. Landscaping has been researched, so we do need to look at our next research. So landscaping is going to be helpful. I mean, I wonder if the flop house costs 25 wood. I just, I mean, it is way cheaper, I suppose, isn't it? I don't know. I don't, I don't know. The decontaminator is probably what we need at least next. And then we'll have to see after that. Anbu's still standing here. They've got to be getting close. Super close. I think even if Anbu started walking again, we'd still maybe catch them. We'll wait though. Anbu's still standing there. Day 50. We're just standing still. There they are. Pick them up, please be a couple. Two healthy people. Anbu, oh no, oh, oh, sorry. That was the wrong one, Anbu. I didn't mean to lie down, I meant you to walk. Sorry, sorry, buddy. <laughs> it's, you're all right, it's, it's fine, everything's fine. All right, we've got decorations now. This ones that cost stone would probably be the ones we want. Stone does keep coming on Anbu's back, probably even more than trees. Oh gosh, okay, people are getting unhappy again. Let's see, it's the poisoned people. Let's just put another doctor in. There's Elephleys everywhere though. We need to get these stone slabs in. Can I get another worker in here? Like it leaves us with two unemployed workers to carry things over, but double the people cutting the stone. And then Anbu is now in the desert. So it doesn't matter that he didn't sleep on that comfy spot, even though it looks like the jungle. It's not, it is actually desert, uh, which means this will no longer be working. Hold on, we need to slow this down. We need to switch this to cactus and then tomatoes are the faster grower. So we talked about this in the comment section. So thank you guys so much for leaving comments. I actually super appreciate every single one of you that leaves a comment. It's just, it helps the channel so, so much. So thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. And it just helps me learn as well. Tomatoes are in the yellow zone, but they grow fast, but they take more water or corn. It grows slower, but I mean, technically it's growing better. 100% growth rate versus 60%. Is that worth it? Is the tomatoes going to be the better option then? Yeah, I honestly, I'm, I'm super not sure. Tomatoes grow faster. That's the main thing. Like overall, they just grow faster. So, but they use more water. 
if we're growing cactus, then maybe it's not a problem. Just, I guess, depends on how much cactus we're able to grow. Wait, what do we have here? A giant tree. After walking through the magical looking woods, they arrived at a clearing. A magnificent tree is standing in its center. Okay, we could grab the wood or cut the trees around it or this tree has, let's leave. I think leaving is usually better. Yes, on the way back, a bright shining light appears. Seconds later, the light is gone and in its place an ancient object has appeared as if it was a gift. 15 wood planks, amazing. And seven knowledge, that is so, so good. All right, there's a mine over here that we can go to. So I guess we'll send them off there. At least Anbu isn't sleeping in the heat wave, I guess. All right, I'm hoping that this cactus thing works and the tomatoes are fine. I mean, the tomatoes are going in already. This one's already at 47% growth, but they are technically growing slower overall. We have 17 beet soups though. That's more than I thought we'd have, if I'm honest. Okay, I don't think we need the two doctors anymore. In fact, we shouldn't need the doctors at all. So let's close this off. What we really need is this to get finished. Two more stone slabs need to go over. Looks like someone's carrying two here. Okay, that's good. Get this pest control done because we've got Elifleas up the wazoo. Ambu's heart rate has at least gone down because he's sleeping, but otherwise it's still very high. That is now finished, which is good. Anbu's gonna be fairly hungry when he wakes up, so we'll have to feed him, but we can now harvest these Elifli eggs. I think there's an Elifli egg over here, so I need someone to come work here though. Don't plant any eggs, that would be insane. I need you to go harvest the eggs. Someone's going to go and work there. And then I think we need to remove these things. The one that's about to lay an egg will leave. Two of them are about to lay eggs. So we'll leave those for just now, but this is getting to be too many guys. Anbu's heart rate's gonna be too high, I think, and it'll make him more sleepy and more hungry, maybe? Do you know what? I'm actually not even sure. All right, the other thing is, okay, housing-wise, we've got housing for everybody. We can actually accommodate three more people. We're gonna need to move on to huts soon, and I am nervous about the moving on to huts thing because they're gonna be very expensive to make. And while we do have wood, this I do need the forester to go in. That's not ideal. I mean, how many elephants do we want to keep? I'm thinking four. There's another egg. Yeah, let's go get the egg. And then that guy's just laid his egg, so we're gonna get rid of him as well. And as soon as he lays his egg, we'll get rid of him. And then we can have the egg. Because then we can cook those things. There, his egg is there, so we're gonna do that. And we're gonna harvest you. So that guy's gonna be very busy. Ooh, but does he need biogas to do that? Or he can manually do it, I think. All right, scavenging party about iron ore. There's nothing else around for us to be gathering because we've already got that forest there. And yeah, there's nothing else that we can see. So these guys are temporarily not busy. I'm gonna do that then. I might even put them in here for a second. I might open this up again as well, start getting some more mushrooms. We've got two of those. I might go down to just one. Yeah, there are so many of these elephants, so we just do need to sort of get rid of them. But at least with the elephant eggs. Oh my God, people are unhappy. Why are they unhappy? They're hungry. But the elephant, oh, this is not working anymore. Start making poached elephant eggs. It gives us 12 food. And we do actually have poached elephants. We can get those. We just need to go over here. There should be eggs. Yeah, there's five in there. Go get the eggs. Go get the eggs. Make a poached elephant egg. It's going to be great. Hey, okay, Anbu is up. Our forester has been constructed. We want you to plant trees everywhere that you can. I'm not going to put two people in there. We'll put just one in there. Uh, we need to open this up because Anbu is hungry. I don't think we have the workers for any of this, though. Decontaminator has been researched. I think we go for hut next. Oh, and then maybe the sleep command. Okay, hut now. And then the sleep command. Oh, petting Anbu would also be very good because then we could start taking care of him. The Anbu laboratory would also be helpful, but we're not going to have enough stuff for that. Oh, and the windmill. Oh, we do need to get this going. We've got wheat now. All right, decontaminator. Uh, it uses compost, which is way back here, but it uses it not necessarily there. Having it up here would almost be helpful. Uh, I'm going to put it back here, though, anyways. Yeah, I'm going to put it back there anyways. Okay, let's slow things down. People are unhappy. What can we do to fix that? They're hungry. Have you started cooking the poached elephant eggs? Can be cooked or planted by pest control to grow an elephant? I don't want you to do that. I need two of you can go back in there, I think. Let's open this up again. We've got one. There's still so many they can't do anything i don't think because they don't have the biogas oh maybe that's it we need to get the decontaminator going okay this is obviously not working tomatoes are coming in so let's switch this over to grilled tomatoes the food thing is a problem oh my gosh it's a big problem okay the elephant eggs though, i don't understand why we can't cook them we've got five of them why are they not cooking them i have no idea why not okay scavenging party can go back out let's feed on boo we need to feed him basically we need to feed him twice how many spare work? Okay, you can't seem to be doing anything at the moment, so I'm going to close you off. We need to get this decontaminator built. Oh, and the compost heap we need built. 
Right, the compost heap is actually what we need first. Hold on, we don't need this first. Lower that one down. In fact, don't do that at all. We need the compost heap because that's how we make the biogases at the compost heap. It's not the decontaminator at all. All right. Uh, we're in a heat wave, so things aren't growing. Oh, I'm worried. We're gonna. The people. It's. We have got too many hungry people. And the heat wave means the tomatoes aren't even growing now. Okay, get those grilled tomatoes in. Wait, here. We can buy food. Open the trade window. Buy all the tomatoes. Buy all the berries. What are we gonna use to sell, though? We're gonna sell. What do we have a lot of? Nothing. We have a lot of nothing. Oh my gosh, we're out of water. Oh my god. He's not selling water either. Oh, he's selling biogas. Oh my god. How am I gonna buy this, though? Okay. The herbs? We don't need herbs right now, actually. Yes. Then we've got food. People should be able to go eat now. There's food over here, so they just need to go and get it. Looks like everyone's coming over. They're eating whatever there is. Okay. That is helping. That is definitely helping. That also means that this should be able to be opened up again. I need the worker to go there, though. I'm going to close this for now, and... We just need to feed Anbu one more time and we can do the next thing. Scavenging party is almost done. We've got another heat wave we're going to have to contend with. We don't have any water, but I think this is fine. We've only got one unemployed worker at the moment. Don't know why these elephant eggs aren't counting as a global resource. They are in here. There's five available. Okay, scavenging party's got back 11 stone. I guess we'll send them to the dune. We might get sand, but we could also get salt, I think, there as well. Uh, and salt we've just been using to trade, so... I guess that's something. We can feed on Boo again. That's going to bring him down to 0%. Then we'll be able to close the feeding trebuchet, which is good. All right, we just have one hungry person left. Our happiness is just not high enough because it's like life is just not good enough, basically, is what is happening. So we're going to need to decorate some of these huts. Two stone and two wood. It's not great, but I think it's necessary. Okay, so I'm going to ready back, back 28 sand. Anbu has had his second food bowl, so we can now close this. We're sending the scavenging party back out. They brought back 28 sand. We're going to send them here. The trader's going to leave soon, but that I think is okay. We could buy more corn just so that we have the corn. I suppose it's not the worst idea if we bought this 15 corn. Then we just, we have the corn, you know, and we'll buy it with herbs because 15 herbs is enough for the 15 corn. Then we've just got that food. It's sort of spare. If people go and eat it, they go eat it. It should help with their happiness as well. Okay, and the trader's gone, so we bought that just in time. The elephant eggs are now literally just lying on the ground. I don't know if I can switch this over. Oh, wait, they have an elephant in here now. Okay, so there actually is global resources. It does say that that exists now. Hoping that doesn't like, plant the eggs. We really super don't want that to happen. <laughs> Okay, founding a settlement. Wandering across the dry desert plains, your scavengers encounter scouts from another tribe. They want to start a new settlement and ask for your help to build a foundation as there's no fresh water nearby. I tell you, there is no fresh water nearby. Uh, we'll give them what they need, but we'll also invite them to join us on Anbu. So we'd have to give them 20 wood. We'd, or we could give them, we can't even give them any water though. We literally can't help them. I mean, we could, it's 20 though. That's so much. We only have 21 of these in storage. Ah, I mean, wood and stone are such a, I mean, stone's not so bad, but wood is such a problem. We only have five of these. Uh, uh, I mean, maybe they'll join us. 47 water and seven healthy people joined. Oh, no. Now we're going to have homelessness. Oh, no. Oh, dear. All right. Well, we've got homelessness and we're going to have to deal with that in our next episode because we are out of time for today. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Take care. Bye bye.